Hey there, it's Jim from Janku with another Synfig tutorial. Last time we took a look at rearranging our panes in Synfig to create a custom layout. Now, I actually would love to go and save this layout. Unfortunately, the version of Synfig that I'm using, so if I take a look here, I'm using Synfig 1.2.1, it doesn't allow saving these custom layouts. So I can go to my window workspaces and I can go back to the default layout or I can choose these other two layouts, but I can't actually save the layout I have. So I was taking a look online and I found this GitHub issue in the Synfig project where it's talking about trying to add the ability to save the layouts and it references a fix over here where they actually have gone and in the newer versions of Synfig, they have gone through and they've added these saving workspace options. And so I wanna add that to my project so I can start playing around with those. The way I can do that is I can go to the Synfig releases here and I can take a look at the newest release of Synfig, which is 1.3.11. So now this is not the stable release of Synfig, but it is their development release. So I can go and I can actually download this for my Ubuntu computer and start playing around with the newest features that they're planning on rolling out. So let's go take a look at doing that. I'm going to click on Download Synfig Studio. It's going to take me to the download page. Now here it's going to have me choose my computer. I'm going to choose a Linux 64 bit. And then it says name a fair price here. So let's just say $5 and get Synfig. Now I'm going to add my email address. I'm going to not check the send product updates. I don't need any more emails in my inbox. And then I'm just going to say continue. And then I'm going to pop in some information here. Okay, great. So it says it's downloaded and a link has been emailed to me. So I'm going to go to my email. Now over in my email, I'm just going to press the download button. Now that's downloaded, I'm just going to click it and come over here. And I'm going to run the application. So this is the newest development version of the application. If we come up here, we can go to help and we can say about Synfig Studio and you can see that we're currently on 1.3.11. So I can close out of that. Awesome. So I do have both versions of Synfig running. So I have the older version here and I have the newer version. So I'm actually going to go and I'm going to uninstall the older version. Now I can do that through my software center. So if I click my application launcher and I go to software, and if I look for Synfig here, it shows me that I have this currently installed. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm just going to remove this version here, add my password. And now the older version of Synfig should be removed. So if I come back to my application, I go to my older version and I close out. Let's not save it. And if I were to search for Synfig, it's no longer there. So awesome. So I can come in here and let's play around with some of the settings in this new version of Synfig. So for instance, let's take a look at our, our workspaces here. So it looks like this version actually doesn't have that feature pulled into it yet. So if I come back and I look at, say, this for instance, we can come in here, we can take a look. Okay, so this looks like it, it's getting pulled in in version 1.312. So we have 1.311. So we're going to have to wait until the next minor version release in order to get that feature in there. 
Okay, so we'll have to stay tight for now and wait for that. But let's see what else we have going on in here. Let's take a look. Let's look at our preferences. Check out the dark theme here. Say okay. Okay, so this is the Synfig dark theme. This looks pretty nice. So one interesting new feature of this version of Synfig is the ability to set boundaries and then repeat over certain sections in your timeline. So for instance, I could come in here and I could enable the playback bounds and then I could click on my left bound here. So I'll say I want to start at the 24th frame. I could come and click the left bound and then I could set maybe an upper bound at 48 frames and I would just click the right bound and then that section's off a section where my playhead will only play between. So if I press play, it only goes throughout those bounds. I can even come in here and I could press the repeat section. And then if I play, it would continuously loop over that section there. So if I had an animation that was going throughout this whole timeline, but I was only interested at something that was happening between the 24th and the 48 frames, this is where I would kind of set my bounds and I could just look at that place on repeat. One thing we'll notice about this program is if we come up and we actually search for Synfig, we don't see it in our application launch over here. So we could come to our place where we downloaded this and we have it in our downloads folder. And I've gone and I've actually updated the permissions on this. So if you right click, you can go to properties and go to your permissions tab and make it executable by clicking this checkbox here. And then if you go to your terminal, and I'm in my downloads folder, and I can see the file here. We can just run this file now. And we're going to run the installation process. So would you like to integrate this into our system? This will add it to our applications menu and install icons. If you don't do this, you can still launch the application by double clicking on the app image, but let's install it properly now. So I'm just gonna run that. Okay, so now it's installed. It says Synfig Studio is already running. The existing process will be used. Okay, so let's close out of Synfig now. And I'm gonna close without saving anything. And if I were to go up here and search for Synfig now, we have Synfig Studio in our application. So I can click this and then I can move my icon up to lock it to my launcher. We'll just add it here. And now I can close out and I can restart this anytime I just click on this icon.